Hey everyone, so this video has been a long time coming. Finally doing a tutorial on the Sketchbook mobile app. And in the past, I've been focused more on the desktop version, but I've been getting a lot of questions saying, hey, some features aren't the same, some things you can't do on the mobile version. So I decided to download it myself, see for myself what the differences were, how hard it was actually to use. It was pretty difficult. The features were a little bit different. In the end, I actually like it a lot better. And especially because now that Sketchbook for desktop isn't free anymore, the mobile app is a great alternative. If you're a beginner looking to use Sketchbook Mobile, this is the video for you. Once you download Sketchbook from the App Store, it's gonna be on your home screen. You just click it to open it. This is what pops up. So a lot of these tools are the same as Sketchbook for desktop. They're just optimized in a different way for the tablet. We have our layers, our brush puck, our tools up here, and our brush library over here. And to navigate around the screen, we can pinch our fingers to rotate and zoom and move the canvas around. Let's go one by one and explore these in a little more detail. We start off with a pretty decent library of brushes. If we press here, we have our brush library. And I noticed that a lot of the sketchbook extras that you can no longer download on desktop, they kind of come with this program by default, which is nice. The settings, we can change the settings of the brush, create our own custom ones just like on desktop. One of the differences that I like is we can now change the size of our brush with these sliders and the opacity as well, just like in Procreate. Makes it pretty easy to draw. And of course, if you want to undo, press this undo arrow. Redo, press that one. Tools at the top are pretty much the same. We have our select, our move, our paint fill, our symmetry, and our shape tool. But let's highlight some of the differences. The first one is if we press the ruler, I like this a lot better because now we can kind of use it as a real ruler with our fingers and drag it around and then draw just like that. We have this kind of bendy ruler where we can adjust these points and kind of get some nice curves. And of course, the ellipse ruler as well. The next cool thing is this predictive stroke. So it's kind of like a smoothing setting. It's at one, nothing really happens. But if we turn it up to like four or five, when I draw a circle, it kind of corrects my lines for me. And I really like that. Last tool I want to highlight is this time lapse icon over here. So if you want to record your screen while you're drawing, you just click this button and it starts to record. Now let's focus on the brush puck and the layer editor. There's just a few additions that make things a lot easier. With your colors, you have a complementary color to your current one. You have the color history over here. And of course we have our eyedropper tool, which we can use to select any color. The layer editor is a little bit different in the sense that there's just a lot more options to, to choose from. So just like on desktop, we can add a new layer with this plus button at the top. But if we wanna delete a layer, now we have to click it and a whole bunch of other options show up. Very, very self-explanatory. There's just a lot of them. These first eight options are all the same as Sketchbook for desktop. They're very self-explanatory. But what is different is now we can go right on the layer and make some color adjustments, which is really awesome. I can change the hue, saturation, the lightness, and I can even do the color balance as well. Everything's all in one spot. Same with the blending modes. Now each layer can have its own blending mode. Multiply, color burn, lighten, everything you can think of, it's right here. So the last tool I wanna to focus on is this icon in the corner, right? So you notice a lot of this stuff kind of takes up a lot of the screen. It's kind of cluttered. So if I wanna get rid of all this and just focus on my drawing, I can press this icon here and everything disappears. What if I want to change my brush? What if I want to access my layers? What if I want to access the tools? Well, cool feature is this little icon in the left corner. You click this with your thumb and then I slide it up and hold it to access my brushes. I can slide it to access my colors and I slide it down to access my layers. So it's pretty intuitive if I'm using two hands to kind of swap between these views. I want my tools back, I just press this and they show up again. 
So very helpful if you want to clear your space and just focus on your drawing. And the last thing I want to focus on is this little icon here on the left. You click it. This is how you open a new sketch, how you save your sketch, and how you edit your preferences. That's it everyone. That's really all the tools you need to know to get started drawing in the sketchbook app. I do like some of the features. Some of the features are intuitive. One thing I don't like is there doesn't seem to be a flipbook option like in desktop. So animating is a little bit difficult. But if you're looking for something to draw good quality stuff on the go, it's a pretty good free option. Any questions you guys have, comment them below and I'll do my best to answer. But yeah, that's it. I'll see everybody in the next video.